Brian is a seasoned church revitalizer as we think about the comparison between church revitalization and church planting. I guess you would argue that church planting is easy, right? It's a breeze compared to church revitalization, right? Yeah, right. So I don't think I'd call it a breeze, but, but I would say that in all fairness, obviously both have challenges, but they're different. There are distinct challenges from each other from this. But I will argue from the side of, I mean, I hear a lot of, I, I, through the years, I've heard guys want to go plant churches for the reason of, I don't want to deal with all the history and the mess and their commergeny old people that exist in, the, in the, these churches kind of thing. And I can't handle that. I don't have the patience for that. And I've tried to argue is like, well, yeah, that's hard. But, um, and it, there is an aspect of calling in that. But at least some guys I have known, they've picked planting because they think it's going to be easier than revitalization. So whether it is or not, I know that's a motive with, with some people I've met through the years, that that's why they want to go plant a church because they're arguing, well, I get to start everything from scratch exactly like I want it. But James, as someone who's planted a church, that, that backfires on you a lot with planting, doesn't it? It does. I'll say the challenge with church planting is uh, helping people care as much about the church as you do. So these people join you know, new members and there's no established history there, no established connection that stretches back, you know, years or decades. And so often it feels like as pastor, you care more about these things than the church members do because it's also new and fresh to them. And then the opposite would be true in a church revitalization. It, they almost care too much, too much about right. those things. They feel a, a sense of uh, not maybe entitlement, maybe not quite entitlement, but certainly that tie to the past that they care so much about every little piece. So yeah, there's some freedom with church planting, which feels nice, um, except sometimes it can just lead to indifference on behalf of the people. And on the other hand, you know, people certainly care in a church revitalization, which can become its own challenge. Well, and the goal with this, as you think about revitalization versus church planting, is one, I think it's a matter of calling. I'm, I'm part of that. I think there is an aspect of giftedness with that. But I think the thing that, that we've really tried to make, the point we've tried to make with this whole series and even with this particular focus of the week, is that whether it's a church plan or a church revitalization, the goal is a, a church that's multi-generational, multi-ethnic, and spiritually healthy. And so the, uh, we have a mutual friend that planted a church around the time that I went to, to try to revive uh, the church that I went to to pastor. And we used to joke when we would go through very different struggles uh, that the goal is in 10 years, we both find ourselves hopefully pastoring healthy churches. And I would say that that's really the goal. Like the 10 year mark uh, is, the 10 year plan is really a good way to uh, approach that. I also wanna highlight that when we're talking about jokingly pitting these two things against each other, that some men can want to avoid the struggles of the other so they feel drawn to the, the one that they think is going to be easier. And I just want to discourage that. This is, needs to be more about calling and giftedness than it does, because both need to eventually pastor people. Both need to be able to lead. Both need to be able to love people. And, and so I think that's the main thing I want to, to, to hammer with this. Have you found that to be crucially true with the planting side? Yeah, a wise uh, friend of mine once said, um, always is to let the Lord lead you to something, not lead you away from yeah, something. that's good. And very often uh, people, uh, men are drawn to church planting because they feel led away from the struggles of church revitalization. And uh, you know, as you said, just since the Lord's leading and following. So you've planted and revitalized, James. You've covered it all. What's harder? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, again, I'm going to dodge it. They're just both difficult in different ways. But yeah. they are different. You would affirm absolutely. That, that, that there's problems on both, but they're both they're unique challenges on both sides. That's absolutely right.